All righty. Contact Raytheon on the second floor of the Tavern of Mist in the Veiled Stair. Excuse me. Are you aware of the recent events in Kunlai Summit? The Zandalari have landed on the northern shores in great numbers and have set about renewing old alliances. To that end, they have re resurrected the Thunder King. Even among the Mogu, the name of this first emperor commands all in fear. Thunder King founded a vast empire of slavery and suffering, but also power, riches, and splendor. We will take the fight to him soon. Find me when your faction makes a move. Okay. Looking for the black prince, I'll find him upstairs. Ooh. Can you believe the majesty of this place? There's work to be done here. Oh my. That that's ooh. We are seeking the light. Hail. Greetings to a chieftain Blaine Bloodhoof was distressed to learn of Garrosh oh, fingers of Garrosh's savage attack on the human prince. Our cause for grievance amongst against the alliance are many, but none are are the responsibility of this little one. The prince and I met at the temple of the right of the White Tiger. On my honor I have pledged that I will do what I can to keep him safe. <clears throat> Despite his words and the warmth of the prince directed directs his way, the torn palin suffers distrustful glances from the royal bodyguards in the corner of the room. <laughs> Walk with the Earth Mother. Greetings. The bodyguard bodyguard glowers at you, his fists tightly clenching his sword. The prince wants to have a quiet chat, Druid. If you start any trouble, we'll respond in kind. See you around. For you. Same thing for that one. Have a good one. And Anduin. We're far from home, friend. <clears throat> Anduin's bodyguards edge closer the moment you address the prince. It's okay. I'd just like to have a chat with my friend. We're far from the battlefronts here. Can some part of the world still be safe for civilized conversation come sit down join us so what happened to your leg are you wounded oh this indicates his crutch Garrosh Hellscream tried to use an ancient Mogu artifact to summon and control Sha energy I found a way to stop him but probably shouldn't have confronted him on my own he thought I was dead when he left me buried under the wreckage of his failed plan I swear he shattered every bone in my body. The Pandaren Mistweavers got me back on my feet again. It may be some time before I can walk without assistance. So he's hurt, but he's he's gonna do good. Okay, what do you make of Raytheon? <clears throat> Raytheon claims to be the last living black dragon. Do you think that's true? Weren't there others still in Outland somewhere? Regardless, I find him fascinating. He's not like any other dragon I've ever met. He's honest, almost painfully so. I can't decide if he thinks mortal lives are an absolute precious, absolutely precious or completely expendable. Okay, so I'm going to end this one here. I'm actually uploading from before, and it's causing lag here.